Hey Slush Puppies! Here's part 3 of PowerPoint Karaoke Improv. You know, it didn't occur to me until too late that Megaplex Online would have been a great opportunity to do more PowerPoint Karaoke, but even without it, Megaplex Online released their event schedule today and there is a lot of programming, more than I've seen at any online furry convention to date. Check the link in the description to see for yourself. Also, they now have a how-to page to get everyone acquainted with Hopin, where the con takes place. Just one week to go! Anyway, enjoy the video. Good evening, everyone. My name is Blue Snow Kitty, and I'm accompanied by Lord Alexander Cold for the third. And we want to thank you for coming to our TED Talk on finding your inner peel. Now, how do you find your inner peel? We hope to answer this question, and perhaps many more for you here tonight at our TED Talk. <laughs> so, what is a peel? You might be asking yourself. How it makes you feel? What it makes you see? How much peef? If you're the title, <laughs> there, is this is I'm only a guy. This is I work best. This is why I said I should leave. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Well, if you'd like to leave, then here you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, right now, we're back on track. So, what is peef? How it makes you feel? What, make, what it makes you see? How much peef is too much peef? What is a good, why is it good to embrace peef? Is peef available in my region? Where does peef occur naturally? Which one? This one? The, the right, the right arrow. Right. So as you can see here, peef is the peef. Now, if you would point down here to the bottom here, days to moon. As we can clearly observe, peef is directly related to the moon cycles. As we can see here in 2011, we had all of these lunar events going all the way up to, it looks about a 6.5. So we go anywhere from about 2.5 to 6.5 lunar events in 2011. Roughly equating, if we were to average all of these numbers together, that would roughly equate to about 4.25 peak. <laughs> see from this graph, PEEF has a unique effect in society. In the year 1996, Disney, in the United States, made a live-action remake of 101 Dalmatians. Oh, and this was Master of Rainbow Pack. 2010, you have Alice in Wonderland, directed by Tim Burton. In 2010, you have the Arkansas Flood. Fortunately, I believe those people were granted a mercy kill from that after seeing that movie. Cinderella, the Texas Oklahoma Floods. Again, kind of a mercy. 2016, The Jungle Book. I actually like this, but some people in Texas didn't, so Hurricane Matthew happened. <laughs> yes, sir. Are you saying Disney is the main perpetrator of peace? No. I'm saying is he makes all things right in the world. Either they make a crap live action remake, God smites down people with retribution for man's folly, or if they make a good one and people deny it, then equally struck down for the folly of man. Why is that the Beauty and the Beast? Beauty, Beauty and the Beast. Hurricane Irma. Beauty and the Beast. Again, Florida just needs to be purged on, an, on a you know decade basis. Honestly, the Black Templars haven't gotten here yet, so yeah, I don't think it's going fast. 2019, Dumbo, uh, Dumbo, Aladdin, Lion King. Oh, no. This is a little dated. I think it's like it's already happened. Yes, I, I do admit that that was my fault. Uh, we submitted the wrong slides to this year's TED presentation. Something big already has happened. Donald Trump has announced his re-election campaign. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's our time about the Bernie bro and Dayton. Thought that was the big thing you're talking about. Indeed, indeed. You see, there's something for either political side to hate. All right? Now, the experts agree that these peef events tend to affect here, what do we have here? Number of Burmese pythons. So peef really affects Burmese pythons, most of all. All of those natural weather events that we just talked about on the last slide were perpetuated not by nature, science, the Lord God himself, but in fact were perpetuated by Burmese pythons. Most of them, if you we were to look at the colors on our graphs here, most of them were actually old Burmese pythons compared to young ones, which seems to indicate to us that the old Burmese pythons just really have a chip on their figurative shoulder and just want the kids to get off their damn lawn. <laughs> Dude, did you just pee? 
how often should I clean my peep? Is peep safe for your pets? <laughs> peep the Christmas band. Now, at this point, you may be as confused as we are on where exactly peep is. I assumed it was very post narcotic, then it was a natural forest, and now it appears to be a forgettable children's book. It got good reviews, but it was forgettable. Now, how often should you clean your peep? Well, first, I have not cleaning things. So, However, I will interject here. We do recommend that you follow the 3 2 1 rule three meals a day, two hours of sleep. <laughs> I nearly spat my drink. <laughs> now, is Pete safe for pets? Depends on who you ask. Kiro says it's a good idea. Mainstream Society says it isn't. Your decision on that one, you may revoke my mic at any time. <laughs> Thank you for coming to our TED Talk on TV. Does anybody have any questions? My execution schedule for Sunday. PlayStation. So, is it safe for your pets to clean your feet? <laughs> given, given that pets generally clean themselves by licking themselves, we're, we're honestly not sure. We're not sure of the health effects of pee on pets. I would err on the side of caution and say, no, don't let your uh, pets lick your pee. <laughs> Aries. Why is there a bird with an eye? It's a picture of the beef. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Would you like to handle that one or should I? I'll handle this one. one. Now, you see. Peep, when it affects animals, can create unusual behavior. A sort of hive mind of all of Earth's beautiful creatures to purge the filth incarnate that is the tourist in the state of Florida. This bird has been compelled by forces beyond its comprehension, or even our own comprehensions, to attempt to rid the state of people hogging up the goddamn turnpike. <laughs> okay, I think we have time for one more question. How about you there in the uh, suit? Yes, you right there, tan suit. So, has Pete been legalized yet? Yeah. It depends on Same which state you're in. It, it depends on which state you're in. most states, you need a permit and a background check to get peeve. Some people <laughs> get peeve right off the street. Some people are honestly going to go to your local Walmart and buy a peeve. I do believe states like California and Colorado have legalized pee for recreation reasons. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is all the time we have for questions. Once again, we do thank you for coming to our Well done, well done. That was